think of an adventure you would take into consideration that this person is within the depths of a fantasy world, living a life never before as they are going to embark on a journey to seek strength, grow as a person, and achieve their goals. <laughs> Full Dive RPG is quite a new fantasy series where a protagonist enters a virtual fantasy RPG world and begins one of the strangest but unique adventures I have ever seen. Everything around him in this world is actually very realistic to the point where it starts to get more intense with every decision he makes. It's like real life to be honest. But he accidentally managed to somehow kill his best friend at the very start which caused him to have the worst luck and start in a video game history and somehow needs to find a way to understand knew this curse that he has fallen under. He may be a weak protagonist, but he is actually quite an intelligent young man. But the thing is, not every person can be trusted in this game. I think Radiant is heavily looked down on and may have its issues like many people say regarding, you know, its story and also the protagonist being quite the dense and dumb as a rock. But if you put it that way, then it's not all that far from being quite similar to how Black Clover started and got so much more better over time. Radiant follows Seth, a boy who was cursed and wants to become the best sorcerer in the world to defeat the major threat that resides in this world called Nemesis. It's also like any typical shonen of, let's say, wanted to become the Hokage or the Wizard King, and it actually does quite well in the aspect of getting a lot better, especially since it has a second season. Now give this a try, and I'm sure you will not be disappointed. <laughs> Next up on this list is Moonlit Fantasy, which is an isekai series of a guy who gets transferred to another world and gets bullied by the goddess for starters, and then sends him to the world with quite the powerful set of abilities he can use. However, to the eyes of many, and even for him, he remains at purely level 1, pretty much as a factor to hide his true strength. Not many know of his true abilities until the very final battle, but I really enjoy this anime so much. To, you know, so many, it may have been another generic looking isekai with an overpowered protagonist, but it really has a lot of fun and cool events to offer to its viewers. Danmachi is one of my favorite fantasy anime series of the protagonist who starts off as a weakling and gets stronger over time. Bell Cranel and his goddess Hesia live in a rundown church as Bell very much hopes to become the greatest adventurer there ever was, but this journey alone is going to not be an easy one as it may seem. A large tower in the city of Orario is a dungeon with multiple floors and adventurers venture into the catacombs and find different monsters and complete different types of quests. Now Bell needs to actually work on his skills if he ever wants to be the best as, you know, it is one adventure you definitely do not want to be missing out on. Goblin. Grimgar is quite a unique fantasy to watch as no protagonist is actually overpowered but are all at somewhat equal strength and the key factor for the show is that a group of friends who get teleported somewhere in a foreign land or a fantasy world and must work together to fight mobs if they ever want a chance to survive. It gets heavily relied on character growth and also friendship bonding and it does get dark sometimes as things don't always go the way it should be meant. It starts out quite weak but does progress insanely well with great pain and its overall great character variety, each having unique skills, strengths, and weaknesses as to why it is so important for them to work as a team rather than being alone. <laughs> 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 Finally on this list we have is Konosubarashi, and you may be wondering to yourself, how on earth 
is any character in this anime overpowered? Well, it's quite simply due to Kazuma actually having one of the most powerful abilities early on in the series called Steel, which allows him to steal a woman's underwear. Which in my eyes, personally, it's an ability any man would ever want. Though this is more of a joke selection, and I thought it would be pretty funny to have it in here, but in all honesty, I've actually run out of anime to add on this list as to why I selected Konosuba in the first place. But hey, it was well worth adding in it, wasn't it? <laughs>